Okay, I went ahead and decided to go ahead and video this part. So, the main issue I was having, this is a Jeep shaft. And this is rubber. And I showed you guys a video of how this actually spins side to side. Well, that side to side is a vibration dampener. And it does its job, but this is also loose. So this steering moves that much. I mean, as you can see, I can put my finger... I can put my whole finger in there. I mean, there's a gap on both sides of that. I know it's hard to see because there's not a light. Okay, now you can. See that gap? This thing turns that whole gap. So if your suspension's under a load and you go to turn the wheel, this whole thing's gonna move before. These are just U-joints. There's no slop. There's no vibration dampening. So yes, you're gonna get some uh, road feel into the steering wheel. But for a drag car, what's it matter? You know it's gonna go straight. The steering's 100%. If you barely turn the wheel, it's barely gonna turn the tire. There is no more slop. This would be fine for a street car, probably. But we're not running it on this truck anymore. It's just it doesn't feel right having it. So we'll park this guy off to the side. Hmm. That's a wild looking deal too. Look at this. That's the U-joint cup, right? See how those are pried out? Look at that top one. I mean, it's covering the cup, but holy crap. That don't look right either. These are slightly that way. And I guess they're that way a lot too. Mm. Yep, not good for a race car. So, I'm going to get this one installed. It does say I have to uh, make a flat for the uh, seat for the set screw on the box. So, it says not to use the uh, original slot, which you can see there. It says not to use that. It wants it to be on its own slot, so I'll have to make that. But. Stay tuned, we'll get her installed.